Good Friday morning, y'all. It's garden tour time. So let's see what's going on inside, then we'll take you outside. Hey, so inside, I still have some of this purple, pretty, and it's called Wondering Jew. Aren't those pretty buds on there? Doesn't have quite enough of a root system yet. So I still have some of it in here. And then the aloe, I'm just gonna keep it inside. I enjoy having it in here. Especially if I get a burn in the kitchen or something, I just like having it right here. So let's go outside and see what's going on. Right, so I'm starting you in a different spot, but this over here on the left is where I transplanted the other part of the Wondering Jew yesterday. And then last week, the one that's standing up over there, that was planted in last week when I first pulled it from over by my garden to this spot, just a little bit away, but it was a cleared out spot. They had removed some bushes several months ago and I just wanted prettiness over here. So I've got this over here now. Let's go on over this way. And we'll check out the tomato plants. Tomato plant. Tomato plant with lots of buds on it. <laughs> Another tomato plant with lots of buds on it. Another tomato plant with buds, and another with buds, and another one still growing strong and healthy. And then here is our zucchini. It is climbing and looking good and healthy. And then look how big this dill has gotten, y'all. The dill is all nice and healthy and big. And then here is the spearmint, lavender, and basil. And then the basil and spearmint that I put in a week ago. And here's some more of those pretty fall flowers. Let's take y'all around. And this one, I'm just gonna see if it'll grow. I got some seeds, uh, or seed pod. I got the seeds out of it. It's kind of a tropical plant, and I just did this yesterday. And then here's the strawberry, still looking nice and healthy. And then the, here's the other flowers. And then here's the carrot and four beets. They're still doing great. And then here's the cucumber plants. They're starting to look good. And then here's the stringless beans. And there's a Casper cat. What's she doing? Hello? Hello? <laughs> and then up here, the pumpkin is getting healthy. So it's doing pretty good. Getting some new leaves up top to get stronger. And then let's see if you can see them. Oh, you can. Look at all those little speckles, y'all. Those are all the lettuce seeds that I planted there. And then, there we go. That's either gonna be purslane or a carrot. I'm not sure yet. We'll find out soon. Probably this week. So that's what's going on in this bed up here. And then I put some basil in here. So just transplanted that this week. And then here's that type of geranium, I think it is. And the jacaranda, y'all, look at this. It is just filled out beautifully. So I'm loving it. And then over here, see, I got it up for slain, y'all. I got it up for slain for years to go. <laughs> so anyway, in fact, I already have a jar full of it. And here's the cute little decoration I picked at the Dollar Tree last weekend. My mom saw it and she showed it to me and she's like, you need it. And so I was like, okay, I'll get it. I can't resist a dollar for a cute sign. And then here's our welcome to our patch sign. And then as we get onto the front porch, you start to notice it gets a little spooky over here. <laughs> So I've got the Halloween decorations up. I've already showed y'all kind of them. But let's show you a little better. Oh, now he's got a spider there. 
He's got a spider up here, and that batch is flying too close. Then a few spiders on the rail. And she's got a spider right on her hands. And then her overalls, oh goodness. <laughs> and then over here in this window, a big old spider in its web. There we go. <laughs> Now, let's get over to the fairy garden. So we've got that spotted plant again. If y'all know what it is, comment below and let me know. And then our aloe is doing great. And then our aloe way up here is still doing wonderful. It's all nice and healthy and big and strong. So I'm gonna turn you around and we'll see what's I'm excited to sit on the front step today. It's nice and pleasant today, y'all. Our high is only supposed to be in the 80s. It's wonderful. I already went on a half mile walk. And uh, we have a little Casper cat here. <laughs> he likes when I sit on the stairs too. Then he can explore a little more. <laughs> but anyway. So, um, did that this morning. I already got my half mile walk in and it was a good week overall. I have noticed since I've been doing that mile walk, I do half mile in the morning, half mile in the afternoon and man y'all, my energy level is coming back. So I'm loving it. So it's been good and, um, garden went well this week. There weren't, I don't think, oh, except for one little lettuce plant that I was trying to grow inside, it just doesn't work doing that. So that's why I did a direct sow. And it, you know, that's the only plant that didn't make it this week. <laughs> so not too bad. And still, you know, just checking the cucumbers and the and the zucchini and the pumpkin. Noticed um, about one ant or two ants on each of them. So I've been continuing to treat them. And that combination of water um, a full water bottle full of water and then it has um, I would say a tablespoon to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and then a tablespoon of Dawn dish soap has been working it has been killing off the eggs been killing off the ants and everything so it's been working well for me so I hope y'all have had a good week and I'm so looking forward to the continued cool down next weekend, y'all, when I go to the fair. It's supposed to be in the 60s for the high. So I'm like, yay! It is definitely going to feel like fall being out there. So I will be bundling up and <laughs> all set to go. But I hope y'all have a wonderful week. And um, if you feel like, oh, I can't garden, just do one small thing. I recommend starting with an herb indoors in a sunny window. And you can do one thing, you know, if you feel like you can't, you can. It took me, uh, if I'm having my honey check the picture, just to make sure there's one thing not on there. But, I mean, oh, y'all. You should see how puny my garden was three years ago. Um, I will check if the picture is okay this evening. I will put that picture on the Facebook page and on the, um, oh, whatchamacallit, and on the evening video for my recap on my healthy part of the day and everything just how I did with calories. Y'all, it trust me you can come a long ways from just a little bit <laughs> if you want to I know it is a lot of hard work because I was out here this week at least two times every day if not three times on some days just because it was so hot but I hope y'all have a great week and I will catch you later today and to end the video Casper decided to explore <laughs> <laughs> He's really not supposed to be exploring because I'm getting ready to go. So I got to tuck him back inside. See if I can take y'all with me. See if he'll cooperate so we can get back inside or if he's going to run away. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, Casper? 
What are you doing? We gotta go back in. I'm sorry, we have to go back. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 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 Keep it moving. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Come on. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Come on. I know. I know. Keep it moving. Uh, <coughs> let's go. Let's go. Come on. I know you are lovey dovey. Come on. Let's go. Whoop. Come on. Let's go home. Come on. We gotta go. We gotta go home. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, y'all. Have a great rest of your day.